After several days of anticipation, the D-Day of the nationwide hunger protest finally arrives. For Bayosu State Governor Doyidiri, who is participating in the weekly Bayosu fitness exercise, it is like any other day and describes the protest as an arrangement by aggrieved politicians to disturb the peace of the state. The federal government is also responding, acknowledging that yes, the economy is not all right and something has to be done. In our case in, in, in Bayelsa State, all the known people who worked for the failed APC candidate were the people who were behind sponsoring and moving around. That is not a protest anymore. That is somebody who wants to bring down our government. And Bayelsa say no. Amid the heavy presence of security personnel, crowds of youthful protesters recited on the major Imbiama Yenagua Expressway, carrying placards which bore their grievances. The atmosphere is not good for us. We cannot survive it. The fuel price and everything have changed. And we can even the income we are having is not enough for what is in the market. We cannot endure it. There were also solidarity rallies by some groups in support of the government. One of such is the Prosperity Youth Coalition, which was received by the Bayosa State Deputy Governor Lawrence Erudapo at the gate of the government house, Genagua. I want to enjoin you to ask other youths as you have come out peacefully, to be peaceful. Everybody have the right under the constitution, under section 40, to assemble and protest. But that should not be at the detriment of others' rights. We are trying to expand the horizon for our youths. You may not know, of the present cabinet of 29 commissioners, 16 of them are youths. That shows the youths are at the nucleus of the Amweba or the Prosperity Administration. Your Excellency will continue to abide by the principles of the prosperity government because we are seeing the length of development in Bayelsa State. Those misled youths, we want them to open their eyes and see more of the development, more of the human capital development back upon by the prosperity government. We will in Nekema, we're not sponsored by anybody. It is our way of showing solidarity and to thank the governor. You can see the various infrastructural projects that are going on in the states. The three senatorial district roads, you can see the technical centers, you can see youth empowerment, skill acquisition, employment of 250 primary school teachers, over 960 secondary school teachers, and the plan that is already perfected to engage another 1,000 health workers in the health sector. At the time of filing this report, the situation is calm with residents seen going about their business. But will the situation remain so in the days ahead? Only time will tell. Theophilus Agidi, Arise News.